Hey guys, Guillaume here for Thomas Guitars and Basses. In today's Guitar Tech Tips, I'm going to show you how to age and relic your guitar like the pros. In this series, I want to show you how to fix the most common issues and set up your guitar without using too many special tools. This time, we take a closer look at the aging and relicking process of a guitar, because that's what you should do to every new instrument you buy. In case you enjoy Guitar Tech Tips, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. And to demonstrate the relicking process today, I'm going to be using this Majesty uh, John Petrucci signature guitar. And the first point I want to address today is something that I hear a lot on the internet, is people are going to tell you that you have to dismantle the guitar to relic or age the body because that's going to help you avoid getting dust in the electronics, uh, damage the pickups or the frets or all that kind of thing. Now, as a professional guitar tech, I'm here to tell you that it's completely untrue. And just think about it, it's absolutely counterproductive, right? Because if you actually age your guitar by playing it, no one does that anymore, but if you are, you're not going to take out the strings and the electronics every time you play the guitar. No, they're going to stay on there, so it's part of the aging. You want to keep that on. So we're just going to leave the guitar as it is, and we're going to jump on to step number two, which is the dings. And now you're going to notice the first thing is that when you start dinging a guitar, it immediately transforms into a Fender Stratocaster. That's what happens to every guitar that's going to be aged or relic. It's going to turn out to look exactly like a Fender Strat. It's still a Music Man Majesty though, but it doesn't look like it anymore. The first thing to keep in mind when you start dinging your guitar is that every ding has to look exactly the same as the one next to it, because that's the natural way of things. So grab your hammer or just literally any tool that you can find and hit the guitar in exactly the same way in different places on the body. Did you hear that ring on the guitar? That means she's happy. Make sure that your dings are really consistent because in real life situation, your guitar is always going to get hurt the exact same way in the exact same spot. And so we jump on naturally to the next step and that is the natural wear on the guitar finish. Now for that part, that requires a lot of attention. You might actually want to cover the rest of your guitar using a fine cloth. Now the important thing about this step is that you have to invent a story for the guitar. Maybe it was the late 70s, maybe you were on your couch listening to a little bit too much Pink Floyd. And your kid thought, oh that looks like a broom and went on to raking the entire driveway with your guitar. And that's a result that can easily be achieved by using a very old file or a driveway. Now, you have to proceed with caution. Perfection. Now another really good way to emulate the wear on a guitar finish, and that's mostly going to be for the elbow sort of rubbing against the guitar finish, is to just use sandpaper. You can also use your elbow, but that's just going to take a really, really long time. Grab any sandpaper, the numbers don't mean anything. Just lay it flat on your hand and scratch your guitar, like so. She's happy. You can absolutely repeat that step onto every part of the guitar, body and neck, without any regards to anything that's already on there. And the final step to every good guitar aging or relicking job is to make sure that the wood that you've just uncovered is hydrated. For that, anything will do. Anything that contains water to some extent. Today, because I don't have any cooking oil, I'm going to use fretboard lemon oil. While doing that, disregard completely any notion of quantity that you might have in mind. And now for optimal application, you're just going to rub that into the paint. This is the entire process of relicking and aging guitars and basses. And now it's time for a test ride. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions left. I'd also love to know what you want me to cover in that series. Don't be afraid of setting up and fixing your guitars yourselves. It's time to become your own guitar tech. I kind of feel bad about hitting that guitar to death. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. That's what I live for. It's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> There's oil everywhere now. <laughs>
on the desk too. Chris is just going to hate me. <laughs> Are we going to put like an on-screen disclaimer for that? That it's for April Fools? Nah.